brought over an exhaust. Uh, for XB and DD. But uh, how come you're selling it? I have two. Oh. Yeah, that is sick, bro. Kenji, big shout outs. Thank you for bringing by this RSR exhaust. One of the last remaining pieces that we're waiting for for the XB. So now that we have this, we also got this, which I haven't actually showed you guys yet. This is the Sion XB spoiler. So far, half this build was built using parts from Amazon. But I got some computer work to catch up on for the night, so we'll save the XB car day for tomorrow. All right, it is the next day now. Before heading to the garage though, to do the XB stuff, we're gonna head over to the nearest car wash that's by the garage. It's a Sunday, so pretty lax on the roads today. And it looks like the sun's out, so I can't complain. Birds are chirping. This is a culmination of ice and dirt. I also got these in. There. Kinda just wanted to see what it looked like. But we're actually getting a full replacement for the center console anyway. So all of this is gonna be replaced. Let's go to the car wash. Tried our best. <laughs> Yo, my wrap job though. We'll fix that up. Get rid of all the snow that was stuck underneath the car and on the wheels. So when we try and install the RSR exhaust, we're not working underneath this gross, wet, dirty car. Also check this out. We picked up a flat bar the other day. So now we can skate in this garage. Except, yeah, there's not all that much runway. So gotta make use of what we got. Do a little bit of a skate sesh before we get started on any of the car stuff. Hey. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of stretching first. Yo, truth is, I actually haven't skated in ages, but I got this for the main purpose of while I'm growing and aging, I want my knees to be able to still handle this kind of abuse. So this is how you condition your body. All right, managed to find this random ass lip balm lying around and it is technically wax, lip wax. Tired, bro. All right, let's bring in the XB. start off with a spoiler. This is in this package. I've already actually kind of taken a peek at it. This 
is one of the largest spoilers that I could find for the XP. There's only like a handful that are actually available for this thing. It doesn't really come with instructions. I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna install this. We'll learn as we go. I'm not entirely sure what company makes this wing, and I usually just go by pictures. What I think will look good with the car. It's hollow, super lightweight, made out of fiberglass, and as you can see, it's two pieces. It's two pieces sandwiched into one, and just super smooth and down. This is really good quality. Now, it didn't come with instructions or anything, but it looks like there's six mounting points, two in the middle and two on the sides. It's just a matter of aligning it properly and drilling the holes in the right spots. So, let's do this. That's huge, dude. That adds like an extra seven inches, bro. That's sick. This is where you're gonna be drilling the holes. Now for the center ones, you're probably gonna have to get it right in the center, drill bigger holes right here, just so you can reach the screws. Super straightforward. We've installed several spoilers before already. You know what we're doing? It's just gonna take a little bit of finesse. We also still have to wrap that thing in black to match the rest of the car. Then we can finally get on to installing the exhaust. I'm so excited for this thing, bro. Okay. This is the future. Drills, as you can see, pretty close to the edge, but it'll hold. And for the center ones, kind of just have to drill all the way through because you got like two, three inches of space in between. But once you're through, and these are pretty aligned, uh, then you can make the holes on the inner part bigger. She got some more of that gold flake black wrap. So, let's get to wrapping. Attached and there's a tiny bit of a gap. We still gotta adjust it. Not bad. <laughs> as high as it goes. And we actually didn't do too bad lining up the holes. Look. And then on this side, this side's like dead on. So what's left is just to readjust it, make sure it's completely flush with the body, and then just stick two self tappers in the center ones, and we're golden. No! Oh man, that's pretty obnoxious. For a sign XP. Look at that. Sick. Let's just say I'm really into big wings. There's a reason why they call me Birdie. No, that's not the reason. Let us show you guys the RSR exhaust. So here we have our new exhaust. Pick this up off of Kenji. 
who also got one for his car, uh, picked them both up for $350 each. Basically, two exhausts for the price of one. He's obviously going to be putting the other RSR exhaust in his car, but the XP that he imported is an automatic. He did tell me it probably would sound better in a manual car, so I'm pretty excited to hear what this sounds like. And as for the installation, it's just hanging on two hangers. Gotta get the... Yo, oh, yo, what up, dude? Look, it's a fat tip. <laughs> yo, you're rocking the new hoodie. That's fucking dope. The color scheme is so nice, man. Oh, man. Thank Derpy for that. Red's his color. All right, man. Let's go. All right, so you got one hanger right there. This is the clamp that attaches the exhaust system, and I think that is just 12 millimeter. All right, bro. Can help? Um, well, just save me some time because I actually have some commission work to catch up on. So, Sunny is going to help out. Unloosen the clamp and take it off the hangers. That's it. Have you done an exhaust before? First time. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, okay, yeah. It's pretty self explanatory, man. It's not as hard as it looks. So, while Sunny helps me take off the exhaust, I'm going to work on some drawings. I got some Pokemon art to catch up on. Now these are uh, team drawing commissions. So people send me photos of themselves and or their loved ones and the list of their favorite Pokemon. Some of these are shiny too, so you can tell that's not the right color cloister. Uh, here's another one. OG generation one team. And all of these still have to be colored, but I got tons. It's basically like I draw out my own coloring book and then I finish coloring them in. Put on a talk. Today we're gonna to talk to you about something really cool, which is how to overcome everything. Time to time, as a business owner, as a marketer, you are overwhelmed with opportunities. And sometimes when you are marketing your business, your service, your thing, um, you kind of realize that... You know what, before we install this thing, let's hear what it sounds like without anything. Can you hold this? Sick dogs. All right. It's funny because this moment actually comes out of two. What, really? Yeah. There you go, bros. <laughs> Kind of subtle. Shall we fire this thing up? See what it sounds like? So this is what the stock exhaust sounds like with some random Canadian tire exhaust tip. I have a feeling it's gonna sound similar, if not just as loud as the OEM exhaust. Uh, but we'll see. Tester, I'm gonna open this up.
super subtle, like we were saying, but a cold start, it does have a deeper growl. If I wanted, I could actually change up the headers on this thing and it'd probably sound a little more different, but this is okay. The only other things that I'm missing for this thing are uh, the Yakuza front bumper, which should be coming sometime soon. I'm looking for a roof box for this thing, um, which will definitely help with carrying booth stuff and also for traveling. And also still looking for a airlift sponsor. A turbo kit for this thing? I mean, you could. <laughs> or like an eBay supercharger. Wait. Nah. Hey, uh, yo, Sonny, appreciate it, man. Thanks yeah, for the help. No worries. Almost complete, man. Actually, for having it for only one month, it's changed quite a bit. For the past three years, that's what I've been doing is I've been picking up winter beaters. This was last year's project. Uh, the year before that was the MX3. And this year, it's this one. I wonder what winter beater we're gonna get for 2020. Just kidding. I think we'll stop here. So again, guys, thank you for stopping by the channel, uh, taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I doubt a majority of you guys actually sat through the entire thing, but if you did, I appreciate you. Actually, no, I appreciate you guys either way. If you guys do want to get updated on when new videos come out on this channel, hit that sub button with a notification button ticked. Drop a like, leave some good vibes in the comments, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.